It's a meter stick. Not a yard stick. A meter stick. Zero on one end. Goes up to 99 and a bunch of lines. All together. A meter. So we got to learn to measure with a meter stick. Okay, let's talk about how to measure with a meter stick. We've got a meter stick here, and the distance or the length from one end all the way to the other end is a meter. You look at the numbers there, you see it's 90, 91, 92, 93, goes all the way up to the end, which would be 100 at the end, but they don't have room to put 100 over there. So anyway, a meter is broken down into smaller increments. You can see the little tiny lines on here. Okay, Those are the millimeters and it takes 10 of those to make a centimeter and then when you get 10 of those together you've got a decimeter. So if we take the meter and break it down into tens, there's 90, 80, see we're breaking it down into tens, 60, 50, 40, we're dividing it into 10. Those are deciliter, decimeters. See? Decimeter. This distance from here to here is one decimeter. Okay? Then you can divide those into 10, and then you've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then there's the 10, going from 30 to 40. Each one of those lines, that little distance there, is 1 centimeter. That's about the, see, it's about the size of a pen, okay, or your pinky. And then you see those little tiny, tiny lines in there. Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be one, uh, one of those would just be one millimeter. Okay, let me see that. So all those little tiny lines. Tiny lines right there. So if I were to draw a line, let's say I'm going to draw a line starting at the end here, okay, and I'm going to go to right here at that 10, that is one decimeter, one decimeter, but it's 10 centimeters, 10 of those little things. They put the numbers on the centimeters. Okay, but let's say my line doesn't go exactly on that nice big number 10. Let's say it goes a little bit past it, like that. It's not all the way to the 1. It's not 11 centimeters, and it's not 10 because it's past it. That's when you have to count those little tiny, tiny lines, and you count how many so if you count that, and I have my glasses on, it would probably look like six little lines past this big 10. Then that would be written as 10.6 centimeters, which is equal, equal to 106 millimeters. Notice the difference is the decimal point. I just moved the decimal point over. So that's equal to that, okay? That is your lesson on measurements. We're going to practice this in class, so make sure you take some notes on how to use the ruler, the meter sticks. Good luck.